The Maori All Blacks on a heritage, and for some players, it's a chance to prove they're ready to climb the ladder towards the full New Zealand team. to the captain. And now a little space on the left wing here as Kieran Hearn will race away for Canada. Kieran Hearn couldn't offload it. Captain's run, I'm very surprised by that. There yes, may be Ryan. more to it, which we uh, hopefully will get uh, some information. Canada get the ball there from the scrum. Willie's work! And it's moved out to the right there, Liam Underwood. Good play from Canada. And Canada five minutes in with the opening score of the game at Bimo Field. That's terrific stuff by the Canadians. They nicked the ball in the uh, scrummage. Oh. Yes, nine. And it comes from Mac. He's fine. Poorly played there by Canada. And away come the Maori All Blacks with Elliot Dixon. Quickly moved out to the left side here. Zach Guilford. Canada chasing back. And it's into top. The All Blacks moving it quickly to the left side. And they'll cross for the try. Zach Guilford. Do you see clear running? So clear running. I'm not sure if it's Zach Guilford, one of the more ex a number of the Sevens players within this lineup today. Go back. And here is Mac. Before he's tackled by Elliot Dixon. Not much room to work for Canada down the left here, but it's kind of trainer. Back it comes to Tyler Ardron. Exponentially in Canada, and the players are all aware of that, and they want to do their best and play attractive rugby to boot. Pretty decent start for Canada in this one, and they'll look to move up towards halfway here. Messi there for Canada, and it's turned over to the All Blacks here. Feels a forward pass there from the Canadians, but the Maori All Blacks will be able to go in. Yeah. Let me check. Jamison Gibson Park check. crosses the line, but the referee one involved in the build-up to the second one. And here come Canada with Phil Mack. Now Nanyak Dala. And it goes from Underwood there. As the All Blacks hold Canada up just short of the 22. Back with Nanyak Dalla here, the sevens man. They'll move it quickly out through Liam Underwood and into the All Blacks 22. Mack with the ball out through the hands of Nanyak Dalla. Quickly to Ardron. Atta. Robbie Robinson trying to break the line. Now 
Now it's back Running with Hafaiki. Robinson once again. Robinson tried to force his way over, and he does. As the Maori All Blacks press forward with Elliot Dixon, but Canada now with moonlight towards halfway. Tyler Ardron now. And then they'll try coming back the other way with Moonlight. Mack. Hubert Bidens. Up to the 22 for Canada. Nice play from the Canadians here. And kind of strain it on the left side. Before eventually the Maori All Blacks regain possession. It's fine. Ball is back. Oh my God. And the Maori All Blacks will go into the corner here for the second try of the game for Jameson. Earlier this year, first start against Fiji in Ottawa. And Underwood's kick is good. Gibson Park. Out to the left for Ash Dixon and Robinson. To touch in August in Charleston and then here at BMO Field to qualify for the World Cup with a 40 20 aggregate win. Much of the hard work done in the first leg in South Carolina. As Canada goes forward here in Hassler with a pass out to the left wing. Explosive play from this carrying it forward. Great stop by the Canadians. The more is set. Towards the line. The Canadians race to Sweden. They'll close the gap on the Maori All Blacks with Canada's second try of the game. That's lead. And they're looking for more as Gibson Park. Up to the left it goes for Robinson. And Robinson then with the hand. To Proctor. And the Maori All Blacks will score. Oh. Oh. The kick forward from Gibson Park. Caleb Ray will get there for Canada. Lost his footing. And then turns it over. And the Maori All Blacks will score in the. I sat with West at the, uh, the dinner on Wednesday night. He's a delightful young man. It's just stroke the big An all-time high crowd for Canadian rugby. But the home team falls to the Maori All Blacks.